Okay, so today's vlog is going to be all about improving your vlog. Um, the first step for that is audio. Actually, one second. So let me start again. Audio. Audio is probably one of the most important things to improve your vlog. Having good audio can make sure the audience doesn't have to suffer and they don't have to listen to wind noise or all of the other background noise that interferes. So audio is the main key for improving your vlog. And it's not too expensive either. A small lapel can plug into your camera, because you've already got one, your phone, because you've already got one. Or if you did want to get a different device to record your audio on, you could always look at something like a Zoom. And a lapel microphone is as little as 20 to 30 quid, sometimes less. So there you go, cut the titles. <laughs> So other than audio, the advantage that you get from the lapel is the fact that you can be miles away from the camera yet still get good clean sound. But there's an extra advantage and that is basically the next thing you can do is use an ND filter. Now an ND filter is low in price which means it's not a, a large amount to spend to increase your, the value of your footage um, and it allows you to get subject separation so it can make you look in focus and blur the background, ensuring that your audience is looking where you want them to look. Unless obviously the background's crucial to the story. Let me just show you what it can do. So the ND filter. Um, the whole idea of the ND filter is to allow you to separate yourself from the background, but also maintaining that 180 shutter rule, which means that you get the motion that you want in the scene, rather than it being all juddery. Um, it's a great little piece to ensure that your foot looks as cinematic as possible and for as little as 20 quid, you can't go wrong really can you? The next part is all about motion and um, that's how you can improve your b-roll massively. There's lots of ways to kind of make sure you get smooth motion, which is what's considered cinematic these days. Um, and not all cameras come with built-in stabilisation. So we're going to step um, back and use the 70D, which I had before, which my colleague's still got, um, which is an amazing camera. And we're going to use that without stabilisation, just to show you what type of shots we've got. So this is just going to be a pan of the leaves, looking at the trees, and um, we'll see how smooth we can get, and we'll show you some techniques. So this first shot is without any form of stabilisation or technique. So again, we're going to try exactly the same movements, but this time we're going to add a simple camera strap. And this will hopefully add another point of contact to the body and the camera to allow us to get a stable shot. So again with the 70D, let's give it a go. Okay, the next step is we're going to use the camera as a counterbalance and to do this you can use a tripod or in this case we're going to be using a monopod um, and it's literally you invert the camera hold it upside down and let the camera weight act as its own counterbalance to steady your shot so again 70d we'll frame it as close as we can it's going to be a bit different because the camera's going to be lower and we'll see how smooth it looks let's go So the last bit of um, 
motion advice I can give you, if you can afford it, because it does get a little bit more expensive, is to invest in one of these. And when I've built it, you'll see more what it is, but this is actually a gimbal. This is the Zion Crane Plus, and this takes all movement that's not wanted in the shot out of the shot and um, gives you a lot smoother footage. So what we're going to do is we're going to balance the camera and then we're going to take the same shots, again using the 70D with the pan down and then you know we'll invert it and we'll do the run on the ground as well. That's how it all goes. Let's get building. Okay, so lastly, we've done all the shots moving with a gimbal. Another way you can obviously up your game is to take your camera to the skies and use a drone, just like this one. Oh, before I go, um, don't forget to live to learn, but as always, learn to live, and like and subscribe, and thanks for watching About Picks. Catch you later. I forgot one last thing. Um, obviously, the most important thing with vlogging or doing this type of work is to be around other people community is massive um, so you need to make sure that you're you're kind of working alongside people and to be honest most of my vlogs aren't a one-man thing it's a two-man thing um, most of the camera work's done by a good friend paul adams um, from paul adams photo so um let me let me just introduce you to paul so this is paul say hi paul hi paul so, so I just wanted to let the world know that you do some of the, the cinematography for me and um, the most important thing is to have people around you helping you, not just the tools. So, so that was it. So thanks again, Paul. Appreciate that very much. You, you can go now. I'll take the camera back up then. Oh, one second. What's that? What happens if you don't have any friends or anybody to help you with the vlog? Oh, yeah. You're fucked.